Hey guys, Thunder E here. And yes, it's not every time we need to buy an expensive premium smartphone. Sometimes you need a device that you just wanna pick up and use. And that brings me to this device, the Blue S1. Now the S1 is an interesting device from Blue because it does a couple of things. Uh, it's price point, at least the current price point right now, the functionality, and also the network it works on. Most traditional Blue devices on, um, are usually work on the AT&T, T-Mobile, and all the MVMO partners. Uh, this actually will work on the Sprint network and also Sprint MVMO partners, So, which means you can actually pick up this device and use on the Sprint network, as well as an AT&T and T-Mobile network, which is pretty cool. This is a very simple device but also works well. You've got a 2800 milliamp battery that should give you a good full day working environment in terms of battery life. The display is a 1020p display, so it's a little lower than I would like, but it still handles well. It doesn't look uh, terrible or anything like that. Camera is a five megapixel front facing camera. You've got a 30 megapixel rear camera. Those cameras, especially the rear camera, will give you decent photos as long as you have good lighting. So remember, if it's well lit, you can take a photo and it will look fine. Low lighting, of course, not so much. Now, in terms of other functionalities here, you also have a fingerprint sensor built into the front of the device. What that means is that uh, you can accurately unlock your device with that, and it also doubles as a home button, so it's actually a clickable fingerprint sensor, and uh, you get uh, the ability to switch back to the home button, and also you can long press to multitask with that as well. Uh, my use case with this device was just more of a secondary device for me, but day to day it handled the basic tasks that I gave it. I would check my emails, phone functions, light gaming, I mean really light gaming on this thing, but it was a nice secondary device to have. As always with Blue, they give you all the accessories you need uh, with the packaging. So it comes with a case, a uh, screen protector, um, also comes with headphones as well, which is something a lot of companies don't actually do. But again, as I mentioned, this is something you can pick up and use on a Sprint network, as well as a T-Mobile at and network, which is pretty cool. Now the pricing, the regular pricing for the device is 179, but today it's going for 129. I think that's the better price point for this device, just for me. I think it works well at 129. I can definitely recommend it at that price point. But it's a short window for that. There's also something really cool that Sprint is doing. If you're a Sprint customer and you're looking to actually pick up this device, you can actually get it for free. And here's the simple way that actually happens. Sprint for its prepaid plans have uh, bring your own plan, uh, bring your own device and you get $200 gift card. So you can pick this up for $129 on our Amazon link down below. Take it over to Sprint and uh, basically get a $200 gift card, which will give you this device for free with some extra profit on top. So there you have it. Um, I think it's a nice device. I think it's solid for its 129 price point, at least there. And I think this is something that if you need a secondary device or you're looking to pick up something cheap and, and good to use on the Sprint network, T-Mobile, AT&T, this will work for you. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Once you do, hit the notification icon on top to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.